This video is part of the beginner's online course How to Build a Professional WordPress Website. Find it on wpexplainer.com. Okay, so this is where we're going to be editing our page content. If uh, this is your first time using what's called the WP Bakery Page Builder, then don't worry, I'll give you a crash course into the logic behind the builder. First of all, what you see here is called a row, and in them we have columns. So for example, the first one here is a simple row with one column. And the second one, well, that's a bit more tricky because it actually has a row inside the row. And inside that, it has four columns. Um, what you need to know here is that you can divide your row into any number of columns as long as they're divided by 12. So uh, I'll give you an example here. We can use this one on the side here to make two halves, for example, or two third and one third. Um, so if we do that, you can see here it changes. What you can see here if you press custom is that it just says one third, one third, one third. But this is actually the same as 4 out of 12, and 4 out of 12, and 4 out of 12. So if I update this, then this is actually the same format. So this is just to remind you that you can change this to any number uh, as long as it's divided up to 12. So we can go ahead, for example, if you want, if you click this one, two halves. Well, then if you want this to be a little bit bigger, then we could, for example, change this to, uh, let's say, 7 out of 12. And this one will then be the rest. Up to 12 will be 5. So if we update that, then you can see we can just move this a bit. Then this is 7 out of 12 and this is 5 out of 12. So we always have the option to go in and edit the columns to fit whichever layout we'd like. Now secondly, the outer row has its own settings which we can access right over here on the larger pencil. And uh, we can get to some of these settings in a, in a few seconds. But we also have specific settings for each column within the row. So this column has settings right here. This column has settings right here. And this gives us uh, a lot of opportunities to create interesting designs. Now, another thing you need to know is that when you're editing, it's a good idea to preview your changes along the way. And uh, the best way to do that is to use the preview button here. So uh, I'll just try and change the heading right here. I already know that I think it's too large. And uh, the way to change the heading is uh, is right down here, the, uh, the text size anyways. Um, so the logic behind this is that we have the semantic, which is the heading the search engine sees, and then there's simply the size of this heading. So um, the smaller the number, the larger the text. So uh, I want to reduce the size quite a lot, so I'll choose H5, heading 5. Click Save, and then I can click Preview up here, and that'll open this uh, new tab. And we can see that, oh, it's not actually this one. This is this one right down here. This has now become much smaller. Now let's keep on editing this page. So uh, I'll just go ahead and change this back again to being one column. And this column down here, I want to simplify this so we don't have a row within this row. I don't really think that's necessary at all. And uh, the smartest way to do that is to just drag these icons out of the uh, inner row here. So I'll just clicking and dragging. And uh, now this is completely empty, so I will delete this up here in the corner. And um, then I will change this to being four quarters. And I can just rearrange these 
to each column. Okay, and I will just preview and have a look. And uh, this looks just fine. The only real thing I need to change is that this right here is centered text instead of left aligned. So I'll just go back again and uh, I will change right down here on this columns settings. And uh, I will change the text alignment to left. So um, we have the next section here and um, I want to change this uh, quite a lot. So we are getting a full size image on the right side and the text is a bit more center within uh, within its box right here. So um, I'll just go ahead and start by editing the outer row. And first off, I want the container width is fine as full, but I want the content as well to be stretched from left to right. So I'll change that. And we have the custom padding on, which is the distance from the content to the edge of the row. And uh, I'll just change that to zero and also zero right here. And um, I'll also change the background color to the uh, light gray, which is the light one right here. And this is just to make it uh, more visible that we have a new section on the page. So uh, I'll just try and preview it as it is now. And you can see the, the light gray color really makes it obvious that we have another section. But of course we don't want the text to be all the way to the left. And we're going to change the image here as well. So uh, I'll go back here. And uh, instead of using a single media within this column, I'm actually going to add the image within the column settings. So I'll open this, then I'll go to style, and down here we have media. And if I click this, then we get the option to add our images. So um, you remember we prepared some Im images earlier, so uh, I'll just add all of them right now and then we can pick and choose from within this media library and um, I think I will use this one this is the square one which was 1000 times 1000 so this is perfect for this kind of setup that we're doing I'll add that and save and um, I will actually change the other column so that it has a lot of padding. That means a lot of distance from the text to the edge of the column. And uh, I'll just give it the maximum and um, save that. And I'm just remembering one more thing I need to change. And that is back to the row settings again. And we'll go to, I think it is inner columns. Yeah, we want these columns to have equal height. So that means that the image will show as much as needed to show the entire text on the left side. So I will click yes to this, save, and then let's go and have a look. Okay, so um, I quite like this design. Um, it is possible to make it even taller if you want um, there is a setting, for example, to make the entire row um, the full height of our screen. Uh, that might be a bit too much, but if we want to just add a little bit more of space, then we can use these plus signs to add an extra element. So uh, if we click here, you see we have a whole bunch of different elements that we can use. And um, if you're looking for something specific, then we can just use this search up in the right here and the one I'm looking for is empty space so I'll add this and uh, we can just give it a height of one that is okay and uh, we can even oh there is actually already an empty space in the bottom I didn't notice that so um, let's just see 
it's a small small thing but um i think it is yeah i think this is quite good so um i'm happy about this um section so let's go on to the next one and uh, i actually want it similar but just the image to the left instead so um an easy way to do that is simply deleting the existing row right here like that and then we can clone the one up here and then we can actually drag the columns and make them switch place just like this so uh, now the only thing we need to do is change the image we can click the plus sign here add media save preview and now we have these two columns right here so um, there's only one thing that is missing right here and that is changing the gap here or removing the gap rather and um, the way to do that is to go to our row settings so we'll click the pencil again and we'll change the inner columns to not have this column gap as it's called so just down to zero with the column gap and we'll do the same for the next one save and uh, now they are completely aligned with each other and I'll just refresh the page and I think this is much better so I'll just scroll down a bit this all looks fine and then we have this text with images and here I actually see that the images are pressed up against each other right here and uh, this is not working at all uh, ideally the image should be on top of each box uh, instead of being crammed right here so uh, let's fix this right away I'll just go to the back end here and uh, here I can see the first section and um, I actually just want to remove this on mobile completely so it's not visible so I'll go to responsive and I'll choose hidden right here on mobile and save and I'll do the same for the other one responsive mobile is hidden and then I want to show an image above these two sections so I'll go down the bottom here and I will add a row and I'll drag this up to above the section right here and then I'll just make sure that the padding is set to zero and then I'll set the responsive setting to be visible only on mobile so I will save that and then I will insert the image that I want and uh, I believe it was this one so I'll add that as media save and uh, I can just have a look here in preview first right and now the image is added and we don't have it underneath so I just need to add the other one for the next section and uh, the easiest way to do that is to clone this row and then just drag it underneath here and uh, I'll just change the image to the correct one save and preview ok 
Okay, so uh, I'm quite happy about this. And now we're ready for the last video in this online course.